Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Kia with a six-speed automatic transmission uh, and you need to remove or replace transmission oil filters. That will just will explain uh, where it's located, how to get to it and why it's a little bit complicated guys. Now uh, that uh, for instance six-speed automatic transmission uh, has been used in multiple Kia models uh, and most of the Kia models from year 2009 to currently year 2022 uh, if you have a six-speed automatic transmission it's very likely you have this one it's used on anything from a 1.2 engine to 3.8 believe it or not just it has different torque specs okay and uh, different horsepower specs as well but uh, you can find it on Kia Rio Sport uh, Kia, uh, Kia Rio, Kia So, Kia Forte, Kia Optima, Kia Sorento Sportage as well guys. Before we start let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep providing these absolutely free videos for you. Now if you need to buy any parts, tools for a good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our tools and supplies from. So with that being said, let's explain what we have specifically here. This guys, okay, is Kia Optima with a six-speed transmission. Now, the transmission guys itself, okay, it's easy to work on. Uh, most of the things are super easy, uh, but you need to make sure you change your fluid on time. And we have a special video that explains how often you should change the transmission fluid on Kia transmission, guys. Please check it out. And in some cases, if you haven't done it in a while, you need to change it up to three times and that video talks about that. If you don't change the transmission fluid on time, okay, one thing about it, things can start acting up, throttle body can get plugged up, solenoids can get dirty and sticking and that can affect your shifting, slipping transmission and all that stuff. Another thing, always use Hyundai original transmission fluid, okay, it's actually Kia but uh, the, the, the transmission is developed by Hyundai okay and the fluid is developed by Hyundai practically too so Kia Hyundai if it says on the bottle for transmissions and it uh, yours is listed okay use only that one I'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get it from if you use the wrong type of transmission fluid okay you can damage your transmission in all time another thing you want to change the fluid quite often why because your <laughs> transmission oil filter is not accessible it's right there you need to remove the oil pan guys then you need to remove the valve body and the solenoids to get to it but then surprise to you okay there is two bolts holding that okay that filter to the transmission casing so the only way to replace that transmission filter is practically to take the whole transmission apart remove it out of the engine remove the bell housing here separate the transmission and the filter will come out on the other side which believe me guys is quite a bit of a headache at that point you probably will be just putting a new transmission in your car so uh, hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you trying to find it where it's located in case you need to replace it it will take quite a bit of work and i don't think it's worth it at that point unless the transmission is shot and you need to replace it and you're rebuilding the transmission hopefully the video will be helpful Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.